G'day. Welcome to my second YouTube video. This video features cream cheese, how to make it and how to eat it by Johnny Pappas. I'm Johnny Pappas. Welcome if this is your first video. As I said, you'll learn how to make cream cheese. And as a bonus, you'll also learn how bad footage looks when you overexpose it shooting outside and not noticing until you go to edit. Good job, Johnny. It looks awful. Sorry about the overexposed shots. I'm learning slowly. Here goes. I'm filming this outside because people are cooking inside and I'm away from home. Hopefully it's not a deal breaker. All you need is the best quality milk you can get your hands on at the supermarket. I could probably find higher quality milk than this, but quite a high fat content. And that's what you're looking for when you want to make cream cheese. We've got some salt, we've got some lemons, we've got our pot, our stirrer. Over here we've got our sieve, our bowl, and a little lemon squeezing utensil, as well as some cheesecloth. And this is actually a tea towel. It's an old tea towel. If you've got cheesecloth, use that. But this is everything you need to make cream cheese. For this recipe, I've got one and a half liters of milk. First things first, pour our milk into our pan. I've got this on a full heat, and I'm gonna keep stirring it pretty regularly so that the milk doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. You wanna just bring it to a simmer. Once it starts to bubble and froth a little bit, it comes to a light simmer or a light boil, and you wanna turn the heat down, and that's when we start adding our lemon. Again, really sorry about the overexposed shots, but once your milk reaches a low boiling temperature, it's time to add your lemon juice. Add it in one tablespoon at a time and stir it through. You should start to see the curds separating from the whey. Don't stress if your curds look much finer and smaller and all over the place. It'll all come together when you drain it. Once you've added your three tablespoons of lemon juice, pour in the curds and whey. Be careful because it's hot, but feel free to compress your cheesecloth or tea towel around the cream cheese and let it sit for 15 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, we're ready to add our cream cheese into a blender. Blitz it for two or three minutes straight until you get a cream cheese kind of consistency. If it looks a little bit too dry, add a bit of that whey mixture that you extracted before. That's totally fine. And there you have it, cream cheese on your spoon. And that's it. Thanks for watching my second video on how to make cream cheese. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you make some cream cheese. I hope you put it on some bagels that you've also made and discovered that you love because they're the best. You're welcome, Australia. Have a great week. See you next time. Ciao.